Hamia, minor planet designation 136108 Hamia, is a dwarf planet located beyond Neptune's orbit. Just one-third the mass of Pluto, it was discovered in 2004 by a team headed by Mike Brown of Caltech at the Palomar Observatory in the United States and, in 2005, by a team headed by J. L. Ortiz at the Sierra Nevada Observatory in Spain, though the latter claim has been contested. On September 17, 2008, it was recognized as a dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union and named after Hermia, the Hawaiian goddess of childbirth. Hamia's extreme elongation makes it unique among known dwarf planets. Although its shape has not been directly observed, calculations from its light curve suggest it is an ellipsoid, with its major axis twice as long as its minor. Nonetheless, its gravity is believed sufficient for it to have relaxed into hydrostatic equilibrium, making it a dwarf planet. This elongation, along with its unusually rapid rotation, high density, and high albedo, are thought to be the results of a giant collision, which left Hermia the largest member of a collisional family that includes several large trans-Neptunian objects and its two known moons, Hyaka and Namaka. Classification Hermia is a plutoid, a dwarf planet residing beyond Neptune's orbit. Its status as a dwarf planet means it is presumed to be massive enough to have been rounded by its own gravity but not to have cleared its neighborhood of similar objects. Although Hermia appears to be far from spherical, its ellipsoidal shape is thought to result from its rapid rotation, in much the same way that a water balloon stretches out when tossed with a spin, and not from a lack of sufficient gravity to overcome the compressive strength of its material. Hermia was initially listed as a classical Cooper Belt object in 2006 by the Minor Planet Center, but no longer. The nominal trajectory suggests that it is in a fifth-order 712 resonance with Neptune since the perihelion distance of 35 AU is near the limit of stability with Neptune. There are recovery images of Hermia dating back to March 22, 1955 from the Palomar Mountain Digitized Sky Survey. Further observations of the orbit will be required to verify its dynamic status. Discovery Controversy Two teams claim credit for the discovery of Hermia. Mike Brown and his team at Caltech discovered Hamia in December 2004 on images they had taken on May 6, 2004. On July 20, 2005, they published an online abstract of a report intended to announce the discovery at a conference in September 2005. At around this time, Jose Copyright Luis Ortiz Marino and his team at the Instituto de Astrofisica de Andaluca at Sierra Nevada Observatory in Spain found Hermia on images taken on March 7, the Euro 10, 2003. Ortiz emailed the Minor Planet Center with their discovery on the night of July 27, 2005. Brown initially conceded discovery credit to Ortiz but came to suspect the Spanish team of fraud upon learning that his observation logs were accessed from the Spanish observatory the day before the discovery announcement. These logs included enough information to allow the Ortiz team to recover Hamia in their 2003 images, and they were accessed again just before Ortiz scheduled telescope time to obtain confirmation images for a second announcement to the MPC on July 29. Ortiz later admitted he had accessed the Coltec observation logs but denied any wrongdoing, stating he was merely verifying whether they had discovered a new object. IAU protocol is that discovery credit for a minor planet goes to whoever first submits a report to the MPC with enough positional data for a decent determination of its orbit, and that the credited discoverer has priority in choosing a name. However, the IAU announcement on September 17, 2008, that Hermia had been accepted as a dwarf planet, did not mention a discoverer. The location of discovery was listed as the Sierra Nevada Observatory of the Spanish team, but the chosen name, Hermia, was the Coltec proposal. Ortiz's team had proposed Atlesina, named for the ancient Iberian goddess of spring. Name, until it was given a permanent name, the Coltec discovery team used the nickname Santa among themselves, as they had discovered Hamia on December 28, 2004, just after Christmas. The Spanish team were the first to file a claim for discovery to the Minor Planet Center, in July 2005. On July 29, 2005, 
Hamia was given the temporary designation 2003 LEL61, based on the date of the Spanish discovery image. On September 7, 2006, it was numbered and admitted into the official minor planet catalogue as 2003 LEL61. Following guidelines established by the IAU that classical KBOs be given names of mythological beings associated with creation, in September 2006 the Coltec team submitted formal names from Hawaiian mythology to the IAU for both 2003 LEL61 and its moons, in order to pay homage to the place where the satellites were discovered. The names were proposed by David Rabinowitz of the Coltec team. Haimia is the matron goddess of the island of Hawaii where the Mauna Kea Observatory is located. In addition, she is identified with Papa, the goddess of the earth and wife of Wake, which is appropriate because 2003 LEL61 is thought to be composed almost entirely of solid rock, without the thick ice mantle over a small rocky core typical of other known Cooper Belt objects. Lastly, Hamia is the goddess of fertility and childbirth, with many children who sprang from different parts of her body. This corresponds to the swarm of icy bodies thought to have broken off the dwarf planet during an ancient collision. The two known moons, also believed to have formed in this manner, are thus named after two of Hamia's daughters, Hayaka and Naumaka. The proposal by the Ortiz team, Atlesina, did not meet IAU naming requirements, because Atlesina is not a creation deity. Orbit and Rotation Hamia has a typical orbit for a classical Cooper belt object, with an orbital period of 283 Earth years, a perihelion of 35 AU, and an orbital inclination of 28 a degree. It passed aphelion in early 1992, and is currently more than 50 AU from the Sun. Hamia's orbit has a slightly greater eccentricity than the other members of its collisional family. This is thought to be due to Hamia's weak fifth order 127 orbital resonance with Neptune gradually modifying its initial orbit over the course of a billion years, through the Kozai effect, which allows the exchange of an orbit's inclination for increased eccentricity. With a visual magnitude of 17.3, Hamia is the third brightest object in the Kuiper belt after Pluto and Makemake, and easily observable with a large amateur telescope. However, since the planets and most small solar system bodies share a common orbital alignment from their formation in the primordial disk of the solar system, most early surveys for distant objects focused on the projection on the sky of this common plane, called the ecliptic. As the region of sky close to the ecliptic became well explored, later sky surveys began looking for objects that had been dynamically excited into orbits with higher inclinations, as well as more distant objects with slower mean motions across the sky. These surveys eventually covered the location of Hamia, with its high orbital inclination and current position far from the ecliptic. Hamia displays large fluctuations in brightness over a period of 3.9 hours, which can only be explained by a rotational period of this length. This is faster than any other known equilibrium body in the solar system, and indeed faster than any other known body larger than 100 km in diameter. This rapid rotation is thought to have been caused by the impact that created its satellites and collisional family. Physical Characteristics Since Hermia has moons, the mass of the system can be calculated from their orbits using Kepler's third law. The result is 4.2 a. 1021 kilograms, 28% the mass of the Plutonian system and 6% the mass of the Earth's moon. Nearly all of this mass is in Hermia. Size, shape, and composition, the size of a solar system object can be deduced from its optical magnitude, its distance, and its albedo. Objects appear bright to Earth observers either because they are large or because they are highly reflective. If their reflectivity can be ascertained, then a rough estimate can be made of their size. For most distant objects, the albedo is unknown, but Hamia is large and bright enough for its thermal emission to be measured, which has given an approximate value for its albedo and thus its size. However, the calculation of its dimensions is complicated by its rapid rotation. The rotational physics of deformable bodies predicts that over as little as a hundred days, a body rotating as rapidly as Hamia will have been distorted into the equilibrium form of a scalene ellipsoid. 
it is thought that most of the fluctuation in Hermia's brightness is caused not by local differences in albedo but by the alternation of the side view and end view as seen from Earth. The rotation and amplitude of Hermia's light curve place strong constraints on its composition. If Hermia had a low density like Pluto, with a thick mantle of ice over a small rocky core, its rapid rotation would have elongated it to a greater extent than the fluctuations in its brightness allow. Such considerations constrain its density to a range of 2.6 a euro 3.3 a gram per centimeter 3. This range covers the values for silicate minerals such as olivine and pyroxene, which make up many of the rocky objects in the solar system. This suggests that the bulk of Hanamia is rock covered with a relatively thin layer of ice. A thick ice mantle more typical of Cooper Belt objects may have been blasted off during the impact that formed the Hanamian collisional family. The denser the object in hydrostatic equilibrium, the more spherical it must be for a given rotational period, placing constraints on Hanamia's possible dimensions. Fitting its accurately known mass, its rotation, and its inferred density to an equilibrium ellipsoid predicts that Hermia is approximately the diameter of Pluto along its longest axis and about half that at its poles. Since no observations of occultations of stars by Hermia or occultations of the dwarf planet with its moons have yet been made, direct, precise measurements of its dimensions, like those that have been made for Pluto, do not yet exist. Several ellipsoid model calculations of Hermia's dimensions have been made. The first model produced after Hermia's discovery was calculated from ground-based observations of Hermia's light curve at optical wavelengths. It provided a total length of 1960 to 2500 km and a visual albedo greater than 0.6. The most likely shape is a triaxial ellipsoid with approximate dimensions of 2000 x 1500 x 1000 km with an albedo of 0.71. Observations by the Spitzer Space Telescope give a diameter of 1,150 plus 250, a 100 km and an albedo of 0.84 plus 0.1, a 0.2, from photometry at infrared wavelengths of 70 I 1 quarter m. Subsequent light curve analyses have suggested an equivalent circular diameter of 1,450 km. In 2010 an analysis of measurements taken by Herschel Space Telescope together with the older Spitzer Telescope measurements yielded a new estimate of the equivalent diameter of Halma Euro about 1300 km. These independent size estimates overlap at an average geometric mean diameter of roughly 1400 km. This makes Hanamia one of the largest trans-Neptunian objects discovered, smaller than Eris, Pluto, probably make make and possibly 2007OR10, and larger than Sna, Quo, and Orcus. Surface, in 2005, the Gemini and Keck telescopes obtained spectra of Hanamia which showed strong crystalline water ice features similar to the surface of Pluto's moon Charon. This is peculiar, because crystalline ice forms at temperatures above 110 K, while the surface temperature of Hanamia is below 50 K the temperature at which amorphous ice is formed. In addition, the structure of crystalline ice is unstable under the constant rain of cosmic rays and energetic particles from the Sun that strike trans-Neptunian objects. The time scale for the crystalline ice to revert to amorphous ice under this bombardment is on the order of 10 million years, while trans-Neptunian objects have been in their present cold temperature locations for time scales of thousands of millions of years. Radiation damage should also redden and darken the surface of trans-Neptunian objects where the common surface materials of organic ices and tholin-like compounds are present, as is the case with Pluto. Therefore, the spectra and colors suggest Hermia and its family members have undergone recent resurfacing that produced fresh ice. However, no plausible resurfacing mechanism has been suggested. Hermia is as bright as snow with an albedo in the range of 0 0.6 a euro 0 0.8, consistent with crystalline ice. Other large TNOs such as Eris appear to have albedos as high or higher. Best fit modeling of the surface spectra suggested that 66% to 80% of the Hanamian surface appears to be pure crystalline water ice, with one contributor to the high albedo possibly hydrogen cyanide or phyllosilicate clays. 
inorganic cyanide salts such as copper potassium cyanide may also be present. However, further studies of the visible and near infrared spectra suggest a homomorphous surface covered by an intimate 1 1 mixture of amorphous and crystalline ice, together with no more than 8% organics. The absence of ammonia hydrate excludes cryovolcanism and the observations confirm that the collisional event must have happened more than 100 million years ago, in agreement with the dynamic studies. The absence of measurable methane in the spectra of Hanamiya is consistent with a warm collisional history that would have removed such volatiles, in contrast to make-make. In addition to the large fluctuations in Hanamiya's light curve due to the body's shape, which affect all colors equally, Smaller independent color variations seen in both visible and near infrared wavelengths show a region on the surface that differs both in color and in albedo. More specifically, a large dark red area on Hanamiya's bright white surface was seen in September 2009, possibly an impact feature, which indicates an area rich in minerals and organic compounds, or possibly a higher proportion of crystalline ice. Thus, Hanamiya may have a mottled surface reminiscent of Pluto if not as extreme. Moons. Two small satellites have been discovered orbiting Hanamiya, Hanamiya 1 Hayayaka and Hanamiya 2 Namaka. Brown's team discovered both in 2005, through observations of Hanamiya using the WM Keck Observatory. Hayayaka, at first nicknamed Rudolph by the Coltec team, was discovered January 26, 2005. It is the outer end, at roughly 310 km in diameter the larger and brighter of the two, and orbits Hanamiya in a nearly circular path every 49 days. Strong absorption features at 1.5 and 2 micrometers in the infrared spectrum are consistent with nearly pure crystalline water ice covering much of the surface. The unusual spectrum, along with similar absorption lines on Hanamiya, led Brown and colleagues to conclude that capture was an unlikely model for the system's formation and that the Hanamian moons must be fragments of Hanamia itself. Namaka, the smaller, inner satellite of Hanamia, was discovered on June 30, 2005, and nicknamed Blitzen. It is a tenth the mass of Hayayaka, orbits Hanamia in 18 days in a highly elliptical, non kepalerian orbit, and as of 2008 is inclined 13 a degree from the larger moon, which perturbs its orbit. The relatively large eccentricities together with the mutual inclination of the orbits of the satellites are unexpected as they should have been damped by the tidal effects. A relatively recent passage by a resonance might explain the current excited orbits of the Hanamian moons. At present, the orbits of the Hanamian moons appear almost exactly edge-on from Earth, with Namaka periodically occulting Hanamia. Observation of such transits would provide precise information on the size and shape of Hanamia and its moons, as happened in the late 1980s with Pluto and Charon. The tiny change in brightness of the system during these occultations will require at least a medium aperture professional telescope for detection. Hayayaka last occulted Hanamia in 1999, a few years before discovery, and will not do so again for some 130 years. However, in a situation unique among regular satellites, Namaka's orbit is being greatly talked by Hayayaka, preserving the viewing angle of Namaka Euro Hamia transits for several more years. Collisional family Hamia is the largest member of its collisional family, a group of astronomical objects with similar physical and orbital characteristics thought to have formed when a larger progenitor was shattered by an impact. This family is the first to be identified among TNOs and includes a Euro beside Hanamia and its moons a Euro 2002 TX300, 1995 SM55, 1996 TO66, 2003 OP32, and 2005 RF43. Brown AL proposed that the family were a direct product of the impact that removed Hanamia's ice mantle, but a second proposal suggests a more complicated origin that the material ejected in the initial collision instead coalesced into a large moon of Hanamia, which was later shattered in a second collision, dispersing its shards outwards. This second scenario appears to produce a dispersion of velocities for the fragments that is more closely matched to the measured velocity dispersion of the family members. The presence of the collisional family could imply that Hanamia and its offspring might have originated in the scattered disk. In today's sparsely populated Cooper Belt, 
the chance of such a collision occurring over the age of the solar system is less than 0.1%. The family could not have formed in the denser primordial Cooper belt because such a close-knit group would have been disrupted by Neptune's migration into the belt a Euro the believed cause of the belt's current low density. Therefore it appears likely that the dynamic scattered disk region, in which the possibility of such a collision is far higher, is the place of origin for the object that generated Hermia and its kin. Because it would have taken at least a billion years for the group to have diffused as far as it has, the collision which created the Hermia family is believed to have occurred very early in the solar system's history. See also Astronomical naming conventions, clearing the neighborhood, planets beyond Neptune, International Astronomical Union, notes. References External links Visualization of Hermia's orbit by NASA, 136108, Hermia, Hayaka, and Namaka at johnstonsarchive.com, International Year of Astronomy 2009 podcast, Dwarf Planet Hermia, Hermia is seen on June 10, 2011 by Mike Brown using the 4.20 AM WHT-030 Euro 330 dip in the brightness of Hermia plus Namaka comes when Namaka crosses Hermia.